All right, guys, I'm in the uh, RV. Going to put in, uh, going to install the curtain. This is the curtain. Kind of flimsy as it sits. The tube is almost as nice as the curtain. Very durable tube. But I'm going to keep this in here for a little bit. Uh, there is actually really, I don't think, anything wrong with the old curtain other than it's a couple of years old. But I think this is the hardware from Thor to install the curtain. So, but uh, yeah, I think this is the part. These are the parts I got to replace. I don't think there's anything in there. I don't know if I have everything. I don't know if they sent me everything in the packet, but we're going to start and see. Well, that was easy. Uh, this is that rail. I see the rail. That is to come off. Like these things here, just twist them. I mean, the, the front end's off. And you twist it and just pull them out of the, of the plastic of the curtain is harder than anything. Um, again, the curtain didn't fail on us. So it's, it's, this is uh, not my ideal situation for you guys. But this rail slid off the same way this slides off. Just got to reach up and take it off. that's how it comes out. What had failed for us is this thing here. It just broke off. So you can see right here it's broke. So now I need to undo this. Like I said I hope they gave me all the parts. See, all this is fine. I, I don't even have to take this out. All I need is this part right here because here's what failed. So my hope is they gave me that part. Definitely wasn't in the box. The only thing that was in the box is that metal strip I showed you. That's not looking very promising for me. Now I gotta see if they said they included it and didn't. But it's been so long, they're gonna make me buy it again. Yep, it's supposed to be two pieces in here. Alright, we gotta go in and make some phone calls, I think. Again, never put off till tomorrow what you can do today. I put this off so long. We'll see what they say. I know the answer. Tough shit, buddy. All right. Hey, hey, everybody. RV enthusiast here. Nice seeing you again. Hey, it is Monday morning. Nice day. Going to get up to around 70 degrees. Uh, working on the RV, got a couple of things I'm doing on it uh, today and tomorrow. I'm going to record this, I'll post this. If you own a Thor Ace and you have the shower curtain, that's the, the curtain, the plastic curtain, and it has broken and you order that plastic curtain and the kit uh, that comes with that curtain, you will receive a plastic curtain and you'll receive a box with a piece of, here, let's see, I'll show it to you. So you'll end up with a bag of these. Um, I'm going to use the old ones because there's nothing wrong with the old ones. Um, and you will receive the curtain, which in my RV happens to be here. And you'll receive one other piece, which is this piece here. 
this piece here. That piece, that piece is this piece here, which is a metal piece. It's a very nice piece, but um, at least in my case, it, mine didn't go bad. So that's not what happened. My curtain actually, uh, even though it has two small tears at the bottom, I'm going to come out of here, would have been fine. Um, if they would have sold me just the part that I needed. Now, I didn't really know what the part was until uh, I ordered the new curtain, got the pretty new curtain, have it unwrapped it, of course. So what, what comes with it was what I just showed you in this piece here. This piece here kind of um, is a partial of what you really need. What broke on mine I'm going to show it to you out here. What broke on mine is this piece right here. As you can see, it's broke here. So I, I called the manufacturer, I, and they, they give you absolutely no help, zero. But I called Thor. Thor helped me as best they could. Um, but I don't think they quite understood where this part went. Neither did I until I started investigating how it was, you know, I couldn't find the other part of this. I was like, well, where'd it go? I guess I lost it. Um, so I went and investigated and found out where it went and then I ended up having to because they weren't going to sell it to me. It's decide, to decide what type of pull you have. Mine is a left handed pull. So mine is going to pull, or right to left, mine's going to pull this way. So this goes up into the arm. This arm sits this way, this will go up into the arm like this, and then it'll get pulled this way. I hope you can see that. This will go up into the arm, and this will get pulled this way. And you can see mine has a little bit of play in it, but for all the different manufacturing of this, that's probably okay. It's, it's very well tight enough. And if you wanted to make it a little tighter, put a drop of silicone in there, slide it in, let the silicone uh, cure, and you're done. But what I need to do now is I need to drill these holes uh, for mine. So if mine sits this way, this part actually will sit on the R on in the RV like this. So I need to drill these holes right here. And then I'm going to drill my pilot hole through it because it's the same size as the hole all the way through. Watch your thumb or your fingers. You don't want to get it behind there. Now I got my last one to drill. Okay, so. Now just like this piece, this piece has uh, a camphor on both sides, so it's countersunk on both sides, so they could use this piece for a right or a left. I'm not going to do that, I only want mine countersunk on one side, because I want to, um, I want to save as much meat of this material as I can. So, Alright, got my glasses on. Uh, now after drilling the little holes, we're going we're gonna to countersink the big holes. I would not advise going forward on this because you're going to drill. This is called PLA. It's very uh, soft in terms of uh, heat resistance and stuff like that. So if you go forward with any kind of speed or anything, you're going to you're going to drill right through this. Um, I'll do the same to the other two holes. Counter sunk well enough, and to the last one. Okay, they're all countersunk. Now we can install them. Man, it's a hard 
part to find and why would you want to replace all that crap uh, you know 200 and something dollars minimal uh, just for just for that piece this will do you just fine so let's go install this and we're going to point you at this so you can see how it works this is the top to that handle I was showing you the pull handle that's the top to it so this goes like this on this piece and then the handle comes in here and that's what slides it across I have um, three screws somewhere here yeah, I see them now mine happens to be green it's because what's in the printer at the time uh, if I do make them for you I don't know what color I'll make them. Uh, black would be the standard, I would guess, but right now I don't have any black. Well, I have black. I just didn't want to hook it up because it's a pain. But I guess if I make them for profit, I'll make them whatever, uh, probably uh, black. If you don't mind, if you don't mind what color, we'll just make them whatever color's in the printer. Okay, we're just about coming through on the hole. I think for the ones that I'm going to do for for other people, this piece will be a little bit thinner, just so it can uh, get a little more bite on the screws. There we go. There it is, guys. That's the piece right there. Okay, so now the part's on. Now we just got to reassemble. Let's see how that goes. Okay, I'm going to set you right here. Hopefully you can see me. Here's the part. Then what happens is this sits on the part like so. And then we have our top rail, which isn't on yet, and then this slides up and down the top rail, like so. And now all I got to do is get the top rail on, assemble the parts. Well, I got to put the curtain on. So you got to slide the curtain up into here and here at the same time. And let's do that. Let's just kind of show you how it goes together. There's definitely a rough and a smooth side. So in our case, the rough side was out. Okay, I'll put the stationary piece in first. And it just goes in a track. There it is. Pretty simple. I'm not going to shove it all the way in. So the curtain has two sides. This is a pattern side, and this is really a smoother side. If you feel them, you can feel this is a smoother side. This is the pattern side. So this just runs through a track right here. And all you do is shove it into the track, shove it down. So I started, I've moved it down now. Before I finish it, I'm gonna put, I wish I had a better spot to hang, and then I got my hand in the way, so I'll probably edit that out so you wouldn't see it. But positioning of the camera is a pain in the butt sometimes. So now I'm gonna put, I'm gonna take this back off. Hey, here's the other piece to the top piece. I guess I could make those too if something happened to yours. That's a pretty simple piece to make. So that goes back in. And there it is. Both of them down. Now both curtains are to are to almost totally. There we go. Now we're totally in the track. Now, <laughs> boy, you guys are 
you guys are you guys are getting the worst of this all right now this will go right on here like so just like so it's right on it and there's the curtain now I have to assemble the top I hope you're following this I hope this video turns out there's a lot of garbage going on because I can't figure a good place to put I, I keep looking because I'm expecting my electrician here any minute because I can't I can't put this camera anywhere that's real convenient um, so that's a problem it looks like very interesting this is also made for a door so a door would slide in here but because we're doing what we're doing um, it's a curtain okay these four four little guides that hold the curtain on go in like so and I think they can get either way I'm putting them down because it makes the top smooth and that's how I remember it and now I just got to put the screws in here on both sides and that'll attach this back to it again camera positioning is very difficult I'm going to start on this side. What I need is headgear. Okay, first screw is in. Okay. Two of my four screws are in. These are in. This is in. back in not too bad uh, all I have to do now is is put these eight there's four here and there's four up here so put these eight pins in to hold where they do into the curtain right here onto this onto these little pieces and it's done but you can see this is nice and smooth runs fine I gotta get these back behind here. Ugh. Okay, when you do this, make sure that these little things aren't beyond this point piece here because this piece here will block it from from going behind it as you assemble. But you can see this goes just nicely. This actually goes better than it did before. I'm wondering if they did something wrong when they assembled mine because mine never shut that good. Uh, of course, when I put these on, it may gather it enough that it doesn't shut either. But I'm going to do that now. Then I'll show you the finished product. So, this is pretty simple. These just go in here like so. These go through this little piece of plastic like so. And then you just turn them. Either way, I think. Nope, let's we'll turn it that way there. Now that one's locked into place. Now i got to do these other three. Then i got to do the four on the bottom, and I'll show you that in a second. Alright, so we find this one, goes in here, turns up, turns in, goes in upwards, in and turn. One left. Okay, guys, it's not a bad job. It's not hard. Um, on a one to on a one to ten, maybe a three or four. On a one to four, maybe a one point five. But there it is, and it shuts all the way. It never shut all the way before. So I think they did something wrong before, or they've made this piece a little longer than before. Okay, there we have it. Shower is fixed. That's done as good as it was. And I didn't need these parts because my old ones were still good. 
but it does not come with this green piece right here which I had to make but it works it works the shower is fixed that took months dude it took so long to get done because I just I didn't know about the part I was like oh come on send me the part send me the part uh, well first off I didn't open the box you know that was my problem but now yeah that's it okay well next time I won't have to buy the part next time I'll just make the part all right guys so if you have a Thor Ace 29.1 or you have a Thor Ace with a plastic curtain and you need that part uh, say so in the comments or send me an email and uh, I'll have it a little bit redesigned a little thinner so the screws at the bottom go in a little simpler and it won't weaken the part any because that part is way stronger than the other part for sure so anyway uh, let me know what you think remember full time part time anytime is a great time to RV and we'll catch you on the next episode to like share and subscribe click the logo to the left